You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I am your host Shreya Savijay and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. India celebrates a number of festivals throughout the year. While few festivals are celebrated with equal zeal and enthusiasm across the country, others are restricted to a particular state or area. One among them is Bonalu, an annual festival observed in the state of Telangana, mainly in its twin cities, Hyderabad and Sikandrabad. Take a look. Decked in traditional attires and carrying Bonalu on their head, Women in Hyderabad city of Telangana throng to various temples of Goddess Mahakali to celebrate the most auspicious Bonalu festival. During this occasion, Mother Goddess is worshipped in regional forms like Maisama, Ochama and Yalaba. Though the festival was observed with grandeur and pomp around the city, but still devotees made sure to adhere to all COVID-19 norms. हमारे पूर्वज हमारे समाज के बड़े बुजुर्ग लोग कुछ बीते हुए 50-60 साल से ये माता को पुराना पुलिस विहार नगर से ये माता का झूला और उसके माता का बोनम लेकर हम लोग हर साल पैदल पैदल गोलकुंडा के लिए माता को जाकर हम समर्पित करते हैं और इसके अंदर हमारे पूर्वज करते थे मेरे को करते हुए भी 20 साल हो गया ये हमारे समाज से ही नहीं मैं हर समाज से भी यहाँ पे लोग आते हैं और ये माता का झूले के साथ इसको बोनाला बोनाल बोलते हैं हैदराबाद में और ये माता के झूला के साथ तो सब, सभी लोग गोलकुंडा किले तलक पैदल चलकर माता का आशीर्वाद लेते हैं और माता को हम गोलकुंडा किले के ऊपर चढ़कर माता को ये झूला और बोनम समर्पित करके आते हैं Celebrated in the month of Ashad, Bonalu is a reflection of Telangana's rich culture and traditions. Every year, one could see a number of women marching towards the temple of Goddess Mahakali to mark the occasion. Observed on three different Sundays at different places in the twin cities, Hyderabad and Sikandrabad, the festival's origin traces back to the 18th century. It is believed that the festival was first celebrated over 150 years ago following a major cholera outbreak. At that time, military battalion from Hyderabad, which was then deployed in Madhya Pradesh Ujjain, offered prayers to goddess at Mahakali temple there to get people rid of this menace. And when people got relieved, they started this tradition of installing an idol of goddess Mahakali, which is followed by offering Bonalu to her. Intended to ward off coronavirus and usher in peace, this annual festival is also considered a thanksgiving to the goddess for the fulfillment of vows. It has been said that a small man can cast a very large shadow. This saying has been brought to light by a Catholic businessman from the southern city of Udupi who has built a Siddhi Vinayak temple as a gesture of religious harmony between the two communities. India is home to a number of different religions that reside peacefully with each other. Several examples of people from different communities performing noble gesture for each other could be spotted all around the country. Setting a similar example of religious harmony and brotherhood, a Christian businessman in Udupi city has built a temple dedicated to Lord Siddhi Vinayak. 
ಅದು ಇದು ದೇವಸ್ಥಾನ ನನ್ನ ತಾತ ತಾಯಿ ತಂದೆಯವರ ಸ್ಮರಣಾರ್ಥಕ್ಕೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಬೇರೆ ಏನೂ ಇಲ್ಲ ಯಾರ ಸಾಲ ಇಲ್ಲ ಯಾರು ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಏರು ಯಾರು ಸಹಕಾರಿಯ ಕೆಲಸಕ್ಕೆ ಇವರು ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ನಾನು ನಾನು ಮುದ್ದು ನನ್ನಿಂದ ನಡೀಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗುವ ಅವರು ಸಹಾಯ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ತಾಯಿ ತಂದೆಯವರ ಬೇಡಿದೆ ನಾನು ತಾಯಿ ತಂದೆಯವರ ಸ್ಮರಣ ಹರಕೆ ಇತ್ತು ಅದನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಅಷ್ಟೆ ಬೇರೆ ಏನು ಜಾಗ ಅದು ತಂದೆಯವರ ಜಾಗ ಬೇಗ ಬೇರೆ ಕಟ್ಟಡ ಇದ್ದಾಗ ಏನು ಇಲ್ಲ ಅವರದ್ದು ಅವರ ತಾಯಿ ತಂದೆಯವರದೇ ಆಸ್ತಿಯನ್ನು ನಾವು ಇದು ಮಾಡಿದೆ 77 year old Gabriel Nazareth has spent his working years in the city of Mumbai and therefore attributes his success to Siddhi Vinayak. This temple is made on 20 cents of land and is gifted to the Hindu community by Nazareth as a gesture of religious harmony among the two communities. The temple has a beautiful black idol of Lord Ganesha which is 36 inches in length. Made with a total budget of rupees 2 crore, this temple is constructed in the memory of his parents, late Fabian Sebastian Nazareth and Sabina Nazareth. The construction of this temple was managed by a three-member committee including engineer Nagesh Hegre and Gabriel's friends Satish Shetty and Ratnakar Kokyan. <laughs> ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂಡ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬೊಮ್ಮೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಉದ್ಯೋಗ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಸಿದ್ಧಿವಿನಾಯಕ ದೇವಸ್ಥಾನದ ಭಕ್ತರವರು ಅವರು ಆ ಕನಸಲ್ಲಿ ಬರ್ತಿದ್ದರು ಸಿದ್ಧಿವಿನಾಯಕ ನಾನು ಊರಿಗೆ ಹೋದ ಮೇಲೆ ನನ್ನ ಸ್ವಂತ ಜಾಗದಲ್ಲಿ ತಂದೆ ತಾಯಿ ಹೆಸರಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ದೇವಸ್ಥಾನ ಮಾಡಿ ಗ್ರಾಮಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ಕೊಡುಗೆ ಕೊಡಬೇಕಂತ ಅವರು ಇದು ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಊರಿನವರೆಲ್ಲ ಭಕ್ತಾದಿಗಳೆಲ್ಲ ತುಂಬ ಸಹಕಾರ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇಷ್ಟೇ ಅವರದ್ದು ಒಂದು ಕೋರಿಕೆ ನಮ್ಮದು ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಒಂದು ಏಳೆಂಟು ತಿಂಗಳ ಹಿಂದೆ ನಿರ್ಮಾಣ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಅದು ಕೋವಿಡ್ ಬಂದ ನಂತರ ಒಂದು ಎರಡು ಮೂರು ತಿಂಗಳು ಡಿಲೆ ಆಯಿತು After doing odd jobs, Nazareth started a metal dyeing workshop and became a successful entrepreneur. He now has his units at three different cities. Now, a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Forest Department in India's eastern Siliguri city of West Bengal recently introduced a plant ambulance to deal with the oxygen crisis in the city. The initiative has been taken by the state's Baikuntapur Forest Division to mark the week-long Vanmot Sav or Forest Festival across the state. The climate changes are going on and the uh, temperature, earth surface are heating up and the trees are very less over here because of the urbanization. So if we can uh, plant more trees and people can plant more trees uh, in a social way, so it will definitely generate some oxygen, extra oxygen. India is aiming to increase its forest area and green cover to a third of its total land area by 2030, up from about a quarter, as part of its commitment to reduce carbon emissions and meet pledges made under the Paris Climate Accord. Pink Booth has been set up in Udampur district of Jammu in Kashmir to help women get inoculated without any hiccups. With the Pink Booth being established at district hospital Udhampur, women were able to keep their discomfort aside and turn up in good numbers to get the shot. The atmosphere is very comfortable here. पहले आ, मतलब बहुत हॉचपॉच था बट अब क्या है कि यहां पे वुमेन के लिए डिफरेंट कॉर्नर है सो हम बहुत ही कंफर्टेबल फील कर रहे हैं यहां पे आके फीमेल्स के लिए बहुत ही कंफर्टेबल रूम है ये और सेपरेट रूम बनाया स्पेशली फीमेल्स के लिए पहले वो डिस्कंफर्ट फील करती थी जेंट्स भी थे फीमेल्स भी थी मगर अब ऐसा नहीं है फीमेल्स के लिए स्पेशली ये रूम बनाया गया है द फेडरल गवर्नमेंट एम्स टू इनोकुलेट ऑल ऑफ द कंट्रीज एस्टीमेटेड 944 मिलियन एडल्ट्स बाय दिसंबर Temple elephants in southern India's Kerala state began their month-long wellness camp at Vadakunathan Temple. The elephants are ritualistically relieved from daily chores for a month-long restorative treatment called Anna Yutu. Anna Yutu literally means feeding the elephants with specially prepared food, which is known for its high medicinal value. This medicinal concoction is regarded as vital for enhancing the well-being of elephants. 
The formulation is administered to the animals to protect and improve their health during the monsoon months when they are not taken for any temple processions, of which they are an essential part and are provided with full rest. And now we'll take you to Tripura where people of different communities celebrated the festival of Kharchi as a gesture of the religious bond shared between them. Take a look. Secularism is one of the many key features of India as a nation. Indian citizens from all walks of life, backgrounds and communities have proved time and again that there is nothing about religious harmony and brotherhood. One of the greatest and common show of brotherhood in the country is that citizens from different communities actively participating in each other's festivals. A recent example of this bond of brotherhood was seen in Tripura, where citizens from different tribal communities participated in Kharchi festival. তার বাসে ধীরে ধীরে বড় হইতেছি আমরা আমরা নিজেরা আনন্দিত উপভোগ করতেছি মেলাতে আসি দেখতেছি এরকম স্নানের ঘাট অবধি যায় এখানে গুরুবার সকালবেলা তারপর এখানে সে মন্দিরে ঠাকুর বসানো হয় এখান থেকে সবাই ওই দিন থেকে আজকে খার্চি মেলা শুরু হয় শুরু হওয়ার পরে এখানে তো মনে করেন জাতি ধর্ম নির্বিশেষে সবাই খুব মানুষ আমরা একত্রিত হই খুব আনন্দিত হই খুব মেলা হয় এখানে জাঁকজমকভাবে হয় দেখতে খুব সুন্দর হয় সুন্দর লাগে আমাদের একটু দেখি ঘোরাফেরা করি কিন্তু গত দুই বছর গত বছর থেকে এই বছর অবধি যে সেরকম জাঁকজমকটা হয় না আমরা মনে একটা দুঃখ লাগে আর কি কেননা এই যে করোনা পরিস্থিতির কারণে আপনার এই মেলাটা দুই বছর ধরে একটু বন্ধ আছে তো এই এখানে আমরা ঠাকুর দর্শনটা করতে পারি না আর কি Celebrated on the day of Ashar's Shukla Ashtami, which falls in the Gregorian month of June and July, the festival is celebrated for peace, prosperity, harmony and well-being of Tripura. What makes the festival special is that, despite of being associated with the indigenous tribal deities, all its rituals are performed according to Brahman Hindu traditions. Normally, in Hinduism, broken head images of gods and goddesses are never worshipped. But because Tripura is called as Land of 14 Gods, citizens of Tripura, including Hindus, worship these 14 head images on the day of Kharchi. Therefore, Kharchi being a tribal festival witnesses mass participation of Hindus and other non-tribal communities from all parts of the state thus showcasing the communal bond between its people. এখন তো এটা কোনো বিশেষ জাতিসত্তার নয় সমগ্র ভারতবাসী সমস্ত বিশ্বের যারা হিন্দু ধর্মে বিশ্বাসী তারা সবাই আসেন দেখেন এবং এটা এখন একটা মিলন মেলা মিলন ক্ষেত্র it is examples like these that showcases that India stands united despite of all its disparities and diversities. And every day in this beautiful land is nothing less than a festival. Whenever we hear Jammu and Kashmir, we are quick to picturize Srinagar, Pehelgam, Gulmarg and some other common destinations. But the places where the real beauty of Kashmir lies are yet unexplored. To unravel these beautiful off-feed destinations for the tourists, authorities are taking a number of initiatives. The latest one in the row was the three-day festival that was held in the Gurez Valley of Pandipura district. Surrounded by snow-capped mountains and meadows of pine, fir and deodar, Gurez is a beautiful valley located in the high Himalayas about 123 kilometers from Srinagar. Though considered as one of the best tourist spots in Jammu and Kashmir, the valley has remained secluded and unexplored due to lack of exposure. But recently it got filled with vivid colors of joy and exuberance as it hosted a three-day long festival. 
organized by the tourism department in collaboration with local administration the festival aimed at highlighting the culture and heritage of gorez valley ke jain ke tourism department jo hai bahut sare initiatives liye hai ki jo hamare अननोन या लेसर नोन डेस्टिनेशन हैं वहाँ पे टूरिज़म को कैसे और जो है वो बढ़ावा दिया जाए इस हवाले से गुरेज़ हमारी एक बेहतरीन डेस्टिनेशन है जहाँ पे न सिर्फ की सीनिक ब्यूटी है बल्कि यहाँ का जो लोकल कल्चर है यहाँ का म्यूज़िक डांस और यहाँ की जो सीनिक ब्यूटी है वो काफ़ी जो है एक आकर्षित करने वाली चीज़ है यहाँ पे एडवेंचर टूरिज़म के लिए देखेंगे आप यहाँ पे जो है फिशिंग के लिए देखेंगे आप यहाँ राफ्टिंग देखेंगे आप या यहाँ पे आप देखेंगे ट्रैकिंग एंड नेचर वॉक्स के लिए बहुत ही अच्छा माहौल है इस चीज़ को जो है वो बढ़ावा देने के लिए उस चीज़ को और भी जो हमारे टूरिस्ट हैं उन तक पहुँचाने के लिए हमने एक जो फेस्टिवल जो है यहाँ ऑर्गेनाइज़ किया है For six months, from November to May, Gurez is completely cut off from the world due to heavy snowfall, and this is something that makes it such a tranquil and striking place to visit. During the Gurez festival, visitors not just got an opportunity to discover the unexplored landscapes of the valley, but also got to know about its culture and lifestyle. They visited the various stalls set up by different departments including animal and sheep husbandry, handloom, sericulture and handicrafts and evinced keen interest in the products on display. Local residents lauded authorities for organizing the festival which is bound to increase the influx of tourists along with economy. ग्रेस में जो फेस्टिवल ग्रेस फेस्टिवल हो रहा है इससे हमारे जो टूरिज्म को फरोग मिल रहा है हम टूरिज्म डिपार्टमेंट और डिस्ट्रिक्ट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन के काफ़ी मशहूर है क्योंकि उन्होंने इस तरह का फेस्टिवल करके यहाँ की इकनॉमी को बढ़ाने के लिए एक बड़ा कदम जो उठाया है इससे हमारे होटल्स हो चाहे हमारे दुकानदार हो चाहे और कोई तबका हो मजदूर तबका हो इससे उनको फ़ायदा मिला यहाँ पर आने से टूरिज़म आने से हमारा जो आ, कुछ पैकेडमी की वजह से बहुत मुश्किल हुई थी हमें यहाँ पर उसे बाहर निकाला जो हमारा जो साइकोलॉजिकल हमें एक दबाव था कोरोना की वजह से उसे बाहर लाने इस तरह के इवेंट्स करके और हमारी इकानमी को आगे बढ़ा रही ये एक अच्छा खुश आइन कदम है To make the festival livelier, a cultural event was also organized, wherein dancers dressed up in traditional attires grooved on the beats of Kashmiri music, enthralling the audience. Different clubs of Gurez presented their performances in various local dialects, particularly Sheena, Dadri, and Pahadi. यहाँ के जो जवान यूथ उनका टैलेंट जो है चाहे वो फोक डांस हो चाहे वो उनका म्यूज़िक हो उसको उबारने की कोशिश करें ताकि जो यहाँ पर्यटक आए उनको एक नई चीज़ देखने को मिले और एक नया एक्सपीरियंस लेकर के वो यहाँ से चले जाए With such events organized on regular basis at various offbeat destinations will not just lead to their inclusion in the itinerary of tourists but also bring a revolution in the tourism industry of Jammu and Kashmir. Next we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section World in Focus. Yokohama city is located at a 30 minute distance from Tokyo station. One can also reach there by train from Haneda airport. It is a beautiful city that attracts visitors who enjoy various events and exciting recreational facilities throughout the year. Despite COVID-19 pandemic, the city has developed another major attraction. From April, Yokohama city started operation of Yokohama Air Cabin. This is the first ropeway setting in city area. Sekai demo mezurashii to omou desu kere demo lithium ion battery wo tsumikonde orimashite sore ni tomonaimashite reibo sochi toyu no ga tsuite orimasu. Sore to yakan shoumei yo no denken mo kakuo shite orimasu shi kakushu anzen sochi toyu no o denken o motsu koto ni yotte dekiru setchi suru koto ga dekimasu. Yokohama Air Cabin carries passengers from Landside Sakuragi Station to the harbor area back and forth. 
Passengers enjoy beautiful scenery from air cabin in their 5 minute ride which is functional from 10 am to 10 pm. The rope covers a distance of 630 meters one way on a height of 40 meters. It is constructed as barrier free. Along with the barrier free construction, the cabin has a technology that protects from bacteria and viruses. The battery is charged in short waiting terms. Lighting decoration also pleases the eyes. French artist Olivier Grosted has created an installation titled The Furnace Bridge that has brought the dream of the great Italian sculptor Michael Angelo to life. An illuminated 18-meter long cardboard bridge suspended by three large white helium balloons is floating above the Tiber River, delighting passers-by who stop to take pictures of the unique picturesque installation. The bridge connects the Renaissance building that houses the French embassy to the gardens in Villa Farnesina in Trastevere. It was inaugurated on the evening of July 13, the eve of France Bastille Day and was dismantled on July 18, after which the cardboard was recycled. Okutama town is located at the northwestern tip of Tokyo. It is a popular tourist destination known as the backyard of Tokyo. A 90-minute ride on the train from Shinjuku station, many visitors come here to enjoy a number of adventure sports like kayaking, rafting and hiking. Along the river, there are many resting stops like restaurants, shops and cafes offering light meal and refreshment. The area has many water sources like Lake Okutama, which is a source of water supply for Tokyo, providing a total of 180 million tons of water, of which about 20% of the water is used by the citizens of Tokyo. In the clear water, the reflection of the trees and the surrounding mountains could be seen. People bring their kids to enjoy water activities or choose to walk along the river to have a relaxing experience. ま、Okutama has a vast area of 225.53 square kilometers, which is one tenth of Tokyo, and is mostly separated by mountains. It is the perfect destination for family and tourists to have a relaxing experience in the lap of nature. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at mindia at nin.com. I'm your host Shreya Savage and it's goodbye from the entire production team. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.